suppose your relationship with Dylan Hartley is an interesting one because he had a lot to do with your move here, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. Um, he was, he's one of the bigger bigger parts to me moving over. You know, um, he helped, He's helped me out massively. If, uh, I don't think if, if he wasn't here, I wouldn't be here either. You know, um, just him looking after me. He's like my, my older brother over here. And then um, I've got Paul Tupai here as well, who's who's massive. You know, he, um, him and his wife, his family help us out, invite us around for dinner, look after the baby when we, when we need. So, yeah, so it's quite nice having a, a Kiwi network, I guess, around. I suppose you look at what Paul Tupai is doing. I mean, he's not doing too bad, is he? Oh, he's bloody fair play to him. He's 40 and he's still still trucking at Bedford, you know. Um, yeah. One <laughs> to look at, I suppose, for, for you guys? Yeah, definitely a bit of in inspiration. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully we'll be doing that when I'm 40. How did it all sort of come about then? You, you move, obviously you've been here quite a while now, so you don't want to necessarily know the story of it all. Um, so, when I was at school, um, I got picked up for a couple of New Zealand sides and I was in the wider training squad. I wasn't getting much love there. And uh, my coach, obviously coach Dylan, uh, Dylan Hartley, and I've got a British passport. And I was like, oh, I don't know want to go over to England, give it a go over there, a bit of game, and um, yeah, he got me in touch with Dylan, Dylan got in touch with the club, and just happened that he was over there for the World Cup, um, come and watch, and luckily I played good, and uh, yeah, just all got the ball rolling from there. And, yeah. so Dylan kind of scouted you in a way then, really? Yeah, yeah, I guess he did. Um, it's quite nice of him being from Rotorua as well, you know, there's, He's got his, uh, his picture up in the office and at Boys High, so you know, sort of knew him without knowing him. Um, so he had, a, he had a reputation already over there because yeah, of what he'd done here? definitely, definitely. You know, um, coming over and playing for England as well. Um, not a lot of Kiwis can do that, so yeah, he had a big reputation at school. And obviously you seem to have changed quite a lot since you got here as well. You obviously lost the, the, the dreadlock. <laughs> yeah, sort of turned into a bit of a gentleman, I guess. <laughs> Nah, um, yeah, lost the hair, getting an accent, shit. <laughs> yeah. Do you know plans of getting the hair back? Uh, maybe when I leave. I catch, a, catch a bit too much flack from, from the coaches <laughs> if I get them back.